Have you ever felt like life has dealt you nothing but the worst cards possible? Like you were destined for nothing more but cycles of struggles and disappointments over and over again. I've been there, right at rock bottom for years. Broke, broken, depressed and even suicidal. Today though, I'm living the life of my dreams, okay? The life that the old version of me never even considered was a possibility, okay? I have peace, clarity and for the first time in my life, I think I finally love myself. And my bank account doesn't hurt too bad either, okay? <laughs> so please buckle up and get ready to witness a story, my story, of hope, resilience, and the sheer power of just never giving up. Let's go. For pretty much my entire life, the main struggle I had was my academics. My whole entire self-worth and identity was tied to becoming a version of myself that my parents would approve of. Spoiler alert, this pursuit ended up being a complete waste of time. But because of this, I was determined to become an engineer and then one day, top executive at some corporate company. I planned out my entire life when I was 18. Graduate at 22, marry by 25, babies at 28. You get the idea, I'm just rolling my eyes just thinking about it. <laughs> However, the plan started to crumble when I didn't get accepted for engineering at UCT. I share that entire story here on my channel, do check out that video. But when I did eventually get in, I made some very poor choices and ended up getting excluded. I ended up graduating and still clinging on to the idea that I can become this corporate baddie. The plan is very off track though because I'm already 25 years old when I graduate. I ended up getting a job as an engineer and goodness, was it not the worst? I quit that job six weeks later and I get another one, this time at a top FMCG that was really awesome, but I couldn't stay there longer than a year before quitting again. I don't know, something just wasn't right and I had spent my entire life trying to become an engineer and I just hated it. I think that deep down in my heart, I felt like, although I'm this smart girl, this just isn't flowing for me as I think and I know that it should be. And so I get this idea that maybe I should be an entrepreneur, even though at the time I know very little about it and how to become one. But I quit and take the leap of faith and tried and failed in several businesses. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be my next video, so do stick around and watch that video breaking down my entire business journey. So let's fast forward three years, right? Three years since I graduated, four engineering jobs later, and three failed businesses. Can you imagine my bank balance at this point? I was privileged enough, I'll admit, to start my working career with no black tags and no debt since I had a bursary in varsity. But I had put myself into some very serious debt by being so unstable in my career. I had bought an Audi A1 and I could barely afford it now because I wasn't working, okay? So obviously the bank wanted the car back. I voluntarily surrendered the car. <sighs> that was very difficult for me because I've had a car since varsity, so that was very, very hard for me to deal with. But anyway, I'm broke now, severely in credit card debt, loans up to my neck, all because I didn't want to get another engineering job. I was incredibly stubborn about this, okay? I was determined to make entrepreneurship work. But my mental health has been in shambles for years at this point, okay? I started struggling with depression and anxiety in the last few years at Varsity. I remember being in my final year, being on such a hectic medication that I had a pill that would slow down my heart rate. Scary, right? I needed that though, just to survive. But anyway, lots of therapy and medication later and I crawled my way to the finish line and graduated. But there was no true healing, you know what I mean? So it's no surprise that as I had a failing career and zero income and debt, that this only became worse. I had several suicide attempts because I could not figure out how I was losing so much year after year after year. How did I go from being this talented, smart engineer girl to nothing? My self-esteem was at an all-time low. If, you, if you're someone who people used to believe in your potential your whole life, you know the feeling I'm talking about. <sighs> okay. Like I had said earlier on in the video, the fact that my entire self-worth was based and built upon my career success is probably the reason that this failure made me just not want to be on this planet anymore. I tried really hard to leave, okay? But I guess the other side was like, nah, girl, <laughs> you're staying. So how on earth did I survive this and how am I flourishing today? Before we get into that though, I want to talk about something that I've never talked about and something that people don't genuinely talk about, okay? And that for me is my last suicide attempt. It's just so dark and shameful, you know? Um, and a trigger warning for anyone that this might trigger, I'm really sorry. I had tried like three or four times before that, but this last time I remember driving to the rooftop of Mainland, find, trying to find a good spot to jump. I'm saying this with a smile on my face because I've healed and recovered, but it was just a very, very, very dark time of my life. And I just, I feel so far away from that girl, but that was me for a very, very long time. 
I think what caused me to finally spiral this time around was the fact that in July 2019, I had just gotten an engineering job that was at management level, okay, because I was so tired of being broke with this entrepreneurship thing. The salary was good, the position was amazing, but then when I got there, it was the most toxic work environment that you could possibly imagine. Colleagues were actively trying to sabotage me. I couldn't get any work done because I needed it from them and they were just like, we're not helping you. I legit thought I was going to get fired every single day at that job. So I was like, nah, this is not for me. I'm a go. And I think what made it worse was the fact that I had prayed for this job. I had prayed for the breakthrough. And I thought this job was that. Kande is the worst situation I've ever experienced in my entire life. So that's when I made the final attempt. So you can only imagine how shocked I was to wake up the next day after a very hectic medication overdose to find that I'm still here. And honestly, it should not have been possible. So in that time, something clicked in me. Okay, I said to myself, if I'm going to be stuck here on this planet, then I'm going to figure out a way to get the life of my dreams. Okay, that is the only way I'm willing to stay here. So I promised myself to dedicate my life to figure this out. I quit that job and unemployed again, I started my transformation process. So in this time, the two things I started to work on was one, figure out how to make money, and two, work on my mental health. For me, working on my mental health meant looking into my childhood trauma and redefining my values so that my self-worth was based on my love for myself and God's love for me, making me a worthy person, regardless of my job title or bank balance. The process is hard and I'm honestly still working on it, but I've made major strides. And it was at this time in 2019 that I really got into new age spirituality. Now, this is very controversial, right? And, and all my life, I've been a Christian, but somehow I felt like my prayers just weren't being answered. And so I looked to different things, different solutions, different ways of thinking to help me get unstuck in a situation that I'd been praying about for years and felt completely stuck in. I wasn't sure if I wanted to share this part of the story because so many of you are Christians and I think I'm a Christian too and I respect that. But I'm just telling you what I did at that time. Okay, I'm not telling you what you should believe, what you should do. This is what I did at that time. Okay, and my beliefs are constantly evolving and shifting. But anyway, this is what I did. So things massively began to shift for me when I read a book called Reality Transurfing by Vadim Zeeland, which basically combined the law of attraction, but also taking action in pursuit of your desires, as well as not putting your desires on a pedestal and just being content with the process that it takes. So this combo at the time was perfect for me and I 10 out of 10 recommend this book if you're so stuck and you've tried everything. Anyway, I also followed a YouTuber called Aaron Doughty. He was actually the one who introduced me to the book. And he was, I was constantly watching his videos because he talks about how if you do what you love and you work really hard at it every single day and you do something that's aligned to your soul's purpose and it can also benefit other people, then you can have material success as well. I've seen that a lot of spiritual people are actually afraid to want wealth but he sees it as just a part of the human experience right just like if you want to travel or have children or you want to paint you get to choose what you want to experience and you shouldn't let anyone make you feel ashamed for that so i agreed with him i agreed with this philosophy and so that's when in 2020 i began my youtube channel i really had no idea that starting a youtube channel would lead me to wealth and um but i was just following my calling at the time right like it's what i was felt really really strongly called to do even though i didn't know how this would you know come together so my tripod just broke in the middle of filming and it has all the doubts running through my mind like should i even be doing this video am i oversharing who is even going to care about the story but you know what keep pushing because when i started my youtube channel i was afraid i was afraid nobody would care and you know what people cared people cared i started it with the intention of helping people that was my entire intention for starting that youtube channel and so that is why i'm making this video as well that maybe there's someone somewhere out there that is stuck just like I was and will find my story helpful in some way. So when I started my channel, I didn't even have a business plan. Okay, I didn't intend on this channel being the catalyst to my success. I just really, really, really felt called to make videos. I love making videos. I studied and obsessed over content creation, right? So for the next few years, I started to build this channel while also trying to start businesses on the side. And remember to watch my next video on all my entire business journey. I kept failing over and over and over again with each business, but I would learn something new with each, and, with each and every single one. And I would get closer and closer to the work that I would end up doing today. This whole time, I'm still working on my mental health and my spirituality. I also had a baby in this time period, and this made me even more overprotective over my spirit. I fearlessly, okay, guarded my heart and mind while I was pregnant, and I still do that till this day. I was pretty much in hermit mode for this entire period. 
most people have a very supportive community, family, all those things around them. And I think that really leads to them having success. But unfortunately for me, I didn't really have anyone stable in my life except for my partner. And I think that being in isolation from people so much really forced me to work on my healing even more. Okay. But it was very hard because I love people. I'm very extroverted. I love my friends. But those relationships have been very unstable and just generally unhealthy for me. And I don't know. I'm still working on this. Um, but I would say that right now I'm in hermit mode again. And for some reason, I always end up being more creative when I'm alone. Like, look at the shenanigans I've been doing trying to make this video outside, inside. Like, what are you doing, Kay? <laughs> so anyway, following my soul's calling to start a YouTube channel. Uh, researching and learning about business led me to also create a tiktok account which led that led to me creating a course teaching people about digital skills which i had experience in and um, being a social media manager and all of that and then this is what led to me finally starting to create abundance for myself one thing you need to know about me is that teaching and content creation are what sets my soul on fire and so doing this for a living it's a dream come true for me, okay? I have a brand new car, I have financial stability for the first time in all these years, all while doing what I love. And I feel like this is just the beginning. Let's fast forward to today, right? Today, I haven't achieved all the things on my vision board, but I'm happy. I'm peaceful. I don't even wear glasses anymore because I had laser eye surgery that I bought as a gift to myself paying in cash, honey. Okay, these are the little victories that mean a lot to me. Okay, I go to bed proud of myself and proud of the woman I'm becoming. I fought so damn hard for this mental clarity and feeling of peace. And out of everything I've ever achieved in this life, healing my chronic depression is my biggest flex. Of course, I still have bad days like a regular person, but I'm not a depressed sad girl anymore. Okay, so here's an action plan for you based on what I did. Get a pen, write this down, take these steps. Regardless of your religious beliefs, I think this will still work for you. So step one, decide that what you want in this life is possible, okay? Step two, research everything like a maniac. Everything. I use YouTube. Three, try a bunch of stuff, okay? Try a bunch of stuff. Step four, as you're trying a bunch of stuff, keep going back to reevaluate your values and choose the one that best aligns with your unique set of values. And step five, once you've found the thing that works for you, keep taking massive action towards this. Um, it must be your soul's purpose and don't give up on it, okay? And step six, stay grounded, be present. Enjoy the process of creating rather than the rewards it will bring you. If you watch this whole entire video, then you definitely know me a little bit too well. And we definitely need our own little code word at this point. So comment below Starseed and I'll know that you're in the tribe. I appreciate you so much for tuning in today. And I sincerely hope that you will begin to take action towards the life of your dreams. Because I promise you, it is possible. I know that if you're stuck in a rut, it can feel like it's an impossible situation to get out of. I definitely felt that way. Hence, I wanted to die so many times. But... I just kept going. I didn't give up. I would tell you that. Like, keep on researching and seeking solutions instead of thinking that there are no solutions for your particular situation. I'm sure I have a lot of privilege and I did mention it in this video. But whatever your situation, the fact that you're even able to watch this video on YouTube, you have information, you have resources at your disposal. Use them and I promise you, you will begin to turn your life around. Don't give up on yourself, okay? I love you. I'm rooting for you. And you got this, baby girl. That's what I would tell the old version of myself, by the way. Bye.